How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi Bell. Today we're in about versus AG, also known as Ty, with a really long name I can't pronounce, in the Smogon overused tier. Stick around till the end for a bonus battle, and with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Ty. So they're going to lead off with Squawkabilly, and we battled Ty before, and they brought Squawkabilly last time, so I know for a fact that this thing is going to have Tailwind. Um, but other than that, I can't remember what it has, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to U-turn because I can't really take it out with the Intimidate on me. So let's go for a U-turn. Get a bit of chip on the Squawkabilly. Bird versus bird. Bird versus bird. So what do we do here? Let's go into something to take this thing on. I'm leaning towards the uh, Garchomp. I'm going to go Garchomp because if they do Brave Bird, we can get some serious rough skin recoil and the Brave Bird recoil. So could be good. And um, they do go for a Tailwind, though, which is unfortunately going to make them faster than my Garchomp. However, it's not the end of the world. So we can go straight for a Scale Shot here, which is exactly what I'm going to do, because nothing on the team wants to switch in on the Scale Shot, really. So they go for a Parting Shot, which is going to lower our offensive power um, by one stage, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, but anyway, if you're watching this far, if you do enjoy this video and you want to see more daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battles, be sure to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out. And let's see what they go into next. Lycanroc comes in to take a scale shot. Let's see how well it takes it. It's nice and shiny as well. That's the Dusk form, right? So we go for a scale shot. We don't miss. We have got the loaded dice. So we do be able to take at least four or five hits for this thing. And it looks like that it's not going to get the KO. But we did a lot of damage to them, which is what's important. So um, not low enough for the where Endeavor could really affect us, but also kind of low enough. So let's get our speed and defense boost, but I still think they outspeed us because of the Tailwind. So we're going to have to switch out. So I'm going to go into Aloma Mola. Aloma Mola can definitely take this thing on. There you go. We're going to withdraw Garchomp. And um, you're probably wondering why we have Torkoal on the team with two water types. And that is because this team, I will admit, was a little bit last minute. So they go for an Outrage, which is going to go ahead and take us, and not take us out, but do a lot of damage to us. But we do get the Rocky Helmet. Um, now we can freely switch into Primarina if we want to, to be immune, but I'm pretty sure that we can just go for a Wish here, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Because they're locked into our rage, they're going to go down to the Rocky Helmet anyway. We may as well get a Wish off and then get some health back. So, Rocky Helmet comes through, KOing the Lycan Rock, which is amazing. So that's a threat out of the way, because that Cellar Rock could really hurt our Staraptor, as we do get a Wish off, which is fantastic. In comes the Raichu. So Raichu is a good Pokemon to switch into here. It's nice and shiny as well. I got that chocolate Raichu, which is really cute. I love, I love Shiny Alone and Raichu. It's so cute. But anyway, let's go for a Protect because they probably go for a Volt Switch or something. And um, we'll get the Protect if we get our Wish back real quick. May as well get our health back while we're at it. They do go for a T-Bolt, which is definitely... We would have stung my Alone mode quite a bit, but it's not going to do anything while we're Protected. And there we go. The Wish comes back to us, and that's going to heal a good chunk of our health back, which is amazing. So we can definitely take a Thunderbolt, and that's his Choice Specs. And I don't want to risk it being Choice Specs. The fact that it could be Choice Specs means that we should go into Garchomp here, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So there we go. We'll withdraw our Palindrome, the Aloma Malola, the Malola Lola. <laughs> I can't even say the name. I said it in the last video. That's the annoying thing. How did I say it? Alo, Momo, La. Right? Anyway, they go for a light screen, which is interesting. So that's definitely deadly. So what can we do here? If we assume, because they, they've got the Intimidate on the, I, I think we go for a scale shot first and foremost. They do withdraw the Raichu. What are they going to go into? Squawk ability to get the Intimidate off? Yeah, Squawk ability comes in. So we get some serious damage off on the Squawk ability, which is nice. Um, so there we go. Intimidate comes through. Garchomp with the Scale Shot is going to come through for us. And that's not going to KO the Squawk ability. But we do obviously get one more turn after this because we do outspeed the Squawk ability. So why not go for it? There we go. Scale Shot comes through. Hits them five times, which is great. They're probably going to want to go for a Tailwind here, or they go for a Parting Shot, one of the two, or they switch out. So I'm going to go for another Scale Shot here, and we do outspeed, obviously, and then we can go for a Scale Shot and take them out. So Squawk really goes down to Garchomp with a Scale Shot. Garchomp actually goes really hard against their entire team right now. Um, the only thing we've got to worry about is that Clodzire not caring about Sword Dance, and Earthquake definitely doesn't KO, so they can probably Toxic us. Got to also remember they can Terrastalize as well. So in comes Gujra. So that thing's definitely going to terror in our face. That's for sure. They wouldn't have brought it in if it wasn't going to terror. Plus, we've got an Intimidate, so I don't think it gets KO'd. So what we're going to have to do here is look at our team. Full HP on everything. That is wild. That is wild. So let's go into Primarina. Primarina can definitely take a Dragon-type move. They are probably going to terror if the, the fact that they brought it in tells me they'll terror. So we'll go into Monroe, like so. 
Nice and shiny, gotta love it. They go for an Ice Beam. They didn't Terra, but they could have taken the Scale Shot anyway, thanks to the Intimidate that they got earlier. They are a Life Orb Gudra as well, which is good to know. Let's go for a Moon Blast first and foremost, and just get some damage off on it. Sludge Bomb comes through. That's going to sting a little bit. It does sting quite a bit, um, as they do lose some HP. We go for a Moon Blast, though. That's going to sting quite a bit as well, as it does a clean 50% of their remaining HP through Light Screen. Through Light Screen. So let's go for another Moon Blast. They go for another Sludge Bomb, though. That could KO us. It does KO us. And um, that's unfortunate. I didn't think it would KO based on how much they did the first time, but I guess it was a high high roll, mid roll type thing, type thing. So now we can go Garchomp and we can Earthquake this thing, no problem. Which is pretty much what I'm gonna do. I, I think I think Garchomp is the play here, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um just to be safe, I'm gonna Terra Steel and I'm gonna Swords Dance. I think that is the way to go forward with this one. So let's go for that. So we Terra Steel like so. And uh, that's going to make it so we're a, a resistant to Ice Beam and Draco Meteor. I doubt they have... Well, I doubt they go for a Fire Blast predicting the Terra Steel. They probably just expect us to go straight for the Scale Shot here. Um, which is fair enough if they do. We're going to get that Swords Dance off. They have no more Intimidate Mons. The only thing they have really is Clodzire. If it's unaware, can probably take an Earthquake and then re retaliate with its own Earthquake. And hopefully they don't freeze us here. Which they don't, which is great. After the great, so now we go for a scale shot because we don't want to get hurt by Gooey. And um, we do miss the scale shot, which is really unfortunate, as they go for a surf, which is going to sting quite a bit with a life orb and everything. It does sting quite a bit. And um, we need to get a scale shot off though to outspeed the Alolan Raichu, as we do. There we go, Gudra goes down. So with Gudra out of the way, the Raichu no longer outspeeds us because it outsped us otherwise with its base 110 speed, I think it is. Um, the only thing we've got to worry about is the Clods are, like I said, living an Earthquake and then retaliating with its own Earthquake, but we'll just have to test to see what happens with that. In comes the Clods are, so they're probably thinking the same thing as me, and that's that Clods are lives an Earthquake, and it depends on the set they are, really, but if they, are, if they aren't unaware, they die. If they are unaware, they could live, so let's go for an EQ and find out. There we go, they didn't Terra. Earthquake comes through and cleanly KOs the Clods are, which tells me they probably weren't unaware, or... They might have been bluffing the unaware, or I'm underestimating Garchomp, one of the two. So in comes Raichu, we know we outspeed this thing, but they could Terra. Again, like they, they haven't terra yet, I really don't know what they're going to Terra into. So let's go for the EQ just to be safe. Um, they don't Terra here, so Earthquake's going to take that Raichu out, there we go. And it looks like we got a little Garchomp sweepy sweep, which is awesome. Garchomp's a pretty cool Pokemon, I'm really glad I got to use Garchomp in this game, because I haven't used Garchomp in so long. Uh, Volcanion comes through though. And that thing could Terra, but I don't think it will. I'm going to go for an EQ. They do Terra. What type are they going to Terra into, though? If it's pure water, they live. If it's pure water, they could live. It's fire. <laughs> Garchomp's just like... <laughs> Garchomp was panicking for a second there, but it's just like, wait, Terra fire? Okay, that's fine. Earthquake comes through. Down goes Volcanion, and that's going to be the game. So GG Tyler's a fun one, I guess. Um, Garchomp came through, though, and uh, you love to see it. Garchomp's just awesome. Definitely an awesome Pokemon. And it's time for a bonus battle. We're going against Blitzer from the Discord in the OU tier. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the teams you see on screen right now. And with that being said, let's jump straight to the game. And the battle begins. Good luck have fun, Blitzer. So they're going to lead off with Blossom, the Mian Xiao, as I led off with Primarina. I led with Primarina because it does pretty well against their entire team, not going to lie. Like, Moonblast and Surf just, like, kind of hits really hard. So, I'm going to go for a Moonblast first and foremost. There you go for the U-turn. A bit of chip damage on my Primarina. Nothing too much to worry about. As uh, Moonblast, like I said, hits everything really hard except for the Iron Treads. And even then, the Iron Treads can't really take a Surf. So, it's like... Bah -bah. In comes Hanami, which is going to be what? The uh, Hatterene. That's probably their best option for taking a Moonblast. That's for sure. So, Moonblast comes through. A clean 50% HP to them. So, they're probably thinking we're Specs at this point. Which means they might be inclined to switch into the Iron Treads to take a hit. But you know what? I'm just going to go straight for another Moonblast here. There's no real reason not to. We outspeed and everything. Takes out the Hatterene. Primarina coming through. That is for sure. As the Hatterene does go down. So that is amazing. And in comes Blaze the Gourmet. Which is going to be the Dragonite. So Dragonite can take a Moonblast. That's for sure. It can take an Ice Beam as well. They may even tear a normal just to take said hits. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a I'm going to go for a Moonblast because I don't I don't want them setting up on me that's for sure. 
And they go for a Dragon Dance, though. Are they going to be Weakness Policy? I bet they're Weakness Policy. I bet you any money they're Weakness Policy right now. I bet they're Weakness Policy. They're going to take this Moonblast like a champ. And then pop the Weakness Policy. They are. I should have realized. So that Dragonite could really do some damage to us right now. Um, thanks to that Extreme Speed shenanigans that it's going to pull on us. So I, I need to be very careful with what I do here. Um, I'm leaning towards the Aloma Mola. They may go for a Roost. They may go for a Terra Normal. I'm leaning towards the... If they Terra Normal, we can body press the Torkoal, which is fine. But I'm leaning towards the Aloma Mola right now. Because I don't want to get my Pre-Marina taken out. Because it does really well against their entire team, like I said. You know, especially that Iron Jugulus and the Sableye. Mwah. Chef's Kiss. So, they go for an Extreme Speed at plus three. It's going to do nearly half, which is fine. And we get the Rocky Helmet chip, which is great. Uh, now, we definitely go for a Scold. Um, and if they go for an Outrage to take us out, then that's fine. They actually go for another Dragon Dance. This is getting scary. It's a plus four attack, plus two speed. That's very scary. We go for a Scold, though. If we can get the burn here, that'd be amazing. We do get the burn. We do get the burn. Scold always burns. That is panic averted right there. But I've said this before. We burned the whole Lucha in one of the last videos. And it still swept my entire team. So we have to be extremely careful with what we do here. So I'm going to flip turn first and foremost. They go for an Outrage, which is going to definitely take us out. But the Rocky Helmet is going to take them out after the burn the next turn. So Aloma Mola goes down, but it's not in vain. It's definitely not in vain as the Dragonite goes down to the burn. So that is fantastic. We panic averted right there. Aloma Mola took one for the team. That's for sure. I didn't think they'd Outrage there, to be honest with you. I didn't even think they'd have Outrage on them. So now we can freely go back into Pre-Marina. And Pre-Marina is doing really well in this game. I can tell already. In comes Blossom, which is going to be the Mien Shao once again. That thing could potentially do a lot of damage to Pre-Marina. Depending on the set that is. The fact that they went for a U-turn first turn tells me that they're not going to be able to do much of it. So I'm going to go for a Surf, expecting the Iron Treads to come in. They Swords Dance in my face. Are they Focus Sash? I bet they're Focus Sash. We go for the Surf, expecting the Iron Treads to come in. They take it like a champ. So now they've got a Swords Dance and a Mien Shao. I'm not in a good position right now. Let's go for a Surf again, just in case. Reversal comes through. And that cleanly takes out Pre-Marina. With a critical hit, I don't know whether the crit mattered because Reversal is a very powerful move when you're very low on HP. And they have a Swords Dance. So I'm thinking that's probably the case. So let's go into our Torkoal. Um, this this Mien Shao could make a really good comeback here, but as long as we get the sun up, we can outspeed everything on the team with Vile Plume, which could be amazing. So um, if that's the case, let's go for a Stealth Frox first and foremost, because if we can take a hit, I want to I want Vile Plume to be able to come in right now. That's what I really want. So they go for a U-turn, which is fine. I would have personally gone for the reversal there, as um down. <laughs> It's, it, they would have got two reversals off because I've gone for a Stealth Frog. So I, I want to injure that giant jugglers. I want to break a potential Sash on something. Um, so what are they going to go into against my Torkoal? That's the real question. Fate comes in. Is that going to be the Iron Jugulus? It's nice. The Sableye. Nice and shiny as well. Um, so we go for a Stealth Frog here. That's going to definitely set up some stuff right now. Um, this Sableye is probably going to go for a Taunt. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out into Vile Plume right now. They may also go for a knockoff, knocking off our life orb, but if they do, it's fine. If they don't know, we're in a very good position. So we'll go Mandrake, like so. They do go for a knockoff, which is unfortunately going to do a lot of health to us. Um, but we do have the strength sap, so we can definitely use that to our advantage later. Let's Terra Fire Weather Ball, because the Weather Ball in the sun is going to definitely do a lot of damage to the Sableye. So let's Terra Fire Weather Ball real quick, like so. And let's see if Vile Plume can pop off. That'd be amazing if it could. That'd be amazing if it could pop off right there. So, Valplume comes through. And if we can take out the Sableye, then that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing if we could take out the Sableye, that's for sure. But the thing we got to keep in mind is that Valplume in the Chlorophyll. Oh, they will always, but it fails because we're terrified. Nice. As uh, we go for that Weather Ball. So, that is great. The only thing is, I enjoy this if it's booster energy and speed. It outspeeds Valplume still. So, this uh, Weather Ball doesn't take them out quite as much as I wanted it to. But Weather Ball is still our best option. So they go for a, a Pain Split, which is priority. I didn't even know Sableye got Pain Split. But Weather Ball is still going to take it out this turn. As there we go, Weather Ball comes through. Vile Plume is just too much of a dominant threat in the sun. Like I said, though, the Iron Jugglist, it does outspeed us if it's booster energy. Which means we will lose our 
Valplume. But if we do lose the Valplume, Garchomp can come in and do its thing. There's Blossom coming in, which is the Mien Shout. Are they going to have Fake Out on this thing? I'm guessing they have Fake Out, by the way, they brought it in. But Stealth Rocks are going to dig in. They are Regenerator as well, which is good to know. Um, we could Strength Sap to get our health back, but I think just going for a Weather Ball is going to be fine. I'm guessing they've withdrawn the Mian Shao. They're trying to get the Regenerator back for the Focus Sash. They're going to bring the Iron Jugulus in now, though. Is it going to be Booster Energy and Speed? Or is it something else? It's not Booster Energy, that's for sure. So that's probably what they're doing here. They're trying to get the Mian Shao in for the Regenerator. Thanks to the Stealth Frox. It lived. Let's go for a Weather Ball. Weather Ball comes through. We do outspeed, obviously. That's definitely going to take out the Iron Jugulus, that's for sure. So, the Iron Treads could be Booster Energy, but I feel like they would have brought it in already if it was. So, Iron Jugulus comes through and goes down. Vileplume's looking pretty strong right now, that's for sure. In comes the Iron Treads, which is definitely going to be Booster Energy, right? I think. I don't know. They could Terror. They are Booster Energy. Is it going to boost their speed? Attack. Oh, that's why they didn't bring it in sooner. They probably Terra, but I kind of want to go for a Weather Ball anyway, um, just to see what they do. They are Terra, so what type are they going to Terra into? That's the real question. What type are they going to Terra into? Weather Ball Terra is still going to hurt. They Terra Ground, so they're no longer weak to the Weather Ball. They might actually take this Weather Ball, because we've not, no, we've not got our Life Orb anymore. So they might take this Weather Ball like a champ. Let's see if they do. So Weather Ball comes through, and Iantris does take it, so they go for an EQ, which is definitely going to take us out, that's for sure, especially with Terra Ground and everything. Valplume goes down, so Valplume unfortunately does not win us the game, but we still have the Garchomp in the back, and as long as it doesn't miss a Scale Shot, then we should be alright. As long as it doesn't miss the Scale Shot, of course. So let's go into Garchomp, and in both games, we haven't used Star Up to once, other than using it for U-turn at the start of the first game. So that's pretty cool. So let's go for a scale shot. Scale shot comes through. We do outspeed, which is great. Iron Treads is going to go down to one of these. As there we go. So there we go. That's GG, I think, because the Mien Shao. Wait, the Mien Shao has got regenerator. So how much HP did it have before? I can't remember. If they're Focus Sash, then they're going to get a reversal off. But the Rough Skin will take them out. So either way, Garchomp's done, done pretty well this game as well as Vileplume. But like Garchomp really shined in that first game. So, I think Garchomp is the thumbnail Pokemon for sure. So, in comes Blossom. There we go. Blossom comes through. It's nearly at full HP. And the Stealth Rocks are up anyway. So, if, even if it does, you know, even if it did, it wasn't going to take it. So, let's go for a Scale Shot. Um, scale Shot comes through. We don't miss, which is great. That's a crit. Not that it matters because we were hitting at least four times anyway. And that's going to take out the Mian Shell. That's going to be the game. So, GG Blitz. So, that was a pretty fun one as well. And um, Vileplume really popped off. And so did Garchomp in both games. So yeah, GG Blitz, that was a fun one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all awful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.